Hello and welcome to Night Prayer. Uh, this week coming to you from Tuxford. So welcome. A few verses from Revelation to begin, which reminds us that we can have hope. From Revelation 22. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. There will be no need to have the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Now we pause to reflect on our day, the things that have gone well, and the things that perhaps we regret and we need to say sorry for. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought and word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And now we're going to hear part of Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are all your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide. And there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading today is the gospel passage um, from this week's news sheet. And it's 
John 15 verses 1 to 8. John 15 verses 1 to 8. Jesus the true vine. I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is thrown away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now we're going to hear the song of Simeon. Alleluia. The Lord is risen, alleluia, as he promised to you, alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now we're going to come to our time of prayer. And this week it is Christian Aid Week. So we begin with prayers for their work. The theme this year is Love Never Fails. We know coronavirus impacts all of us, but love unites us all. So we're going to offer up our prayers for our neighbours, both near and far. Christian Aid are a partnership of people, churches and local organisations committed to ending poverty worldwide. They're responding to the coronavirus outbreak in some of the most vulnerable communities around the world, especially in Africa, Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean. They're working together with partners and faith leaders to tell people about the risks offering hygiene and hand washing sessions, equipping health facilities with supplies and providing training to frontline workers. They're providing food packages to some of the most marginalised families and ensuring protection for women affected by domestic violence. They're making sure urgent health messages get through to help keep people safe. So we give thanks for the work of Christian Aid and their partners. We pray that they will find ways to help get, get the help to where it is most needed. We remember that coronavirus impacts all of us, 
the worldwide community, but love unites us all. So here is a prayer from Christian Aid for medical workers everywhere. Restoring and healing God, thank you for medical workers everywhere, showing sacrificial love in these challenging times, putting the welfare of others before their own, staying away from their family and loved ones, comforting the concerned and bereaved, reassuring the anxious and vulnerable, working to heal and restore people who are ill. Be their guide, strength, wisdom and hope. And we pray for medical workers around the world where resources and protective equipment are always in short supply, not only now, but always. May these extraordinary times lead to deep and necessary changes in how our world works. Renew our determination to fight injustice, poverty, shortened life expectancy that is determined by geography. Wake us all to the reality of how connected we are and to work together to create a community and world that we all want to be part of. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now a prayer for our world during the global pandemic. Some words from 1 Corinthians. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Loving God, strengthen our innermost being with your love that bears all things, even the weight of this global pandemic, even the long haul of watching for symptoms, of patiently waiting for this to pass. Watching and waiting, keep our gaze fixed on you, and looking out for our neighbours near and far. Instill in our shaken souls the belief and hope that all things are possible with your creative love. For strangers to become friends, for science to source solutions, for resources to be generously shared, so everyone, everywhere, may have what they need. Your perfect love that knows no borders may cast out any fear and selfishness that divides. May your love that never ends be our comfort, strength and guide to the well-being of all and the glory of God. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And today... We're asked to pray for key workers and for those who have lost their employment. Holy God, we remember all those who are working to keep things going. Those working in the NHS and those around it helping to keep things working. Those keeping our streets clean and collecting our rubbish those harvesting, delivering and selling the food in our shops, those keeping us secure and our utilities functioning, those looking after the children of key workers, those helping to care for the elderly and vulnerable, the clergy seeking to minister in difficult times. And we pray for those who have lost their jobs or their businesses or livelihoods. And for those who fear an impending loss, we ask that new forms of employment may be quickly secured for them. And we bring before God those that we know personally, friends and family who are key workers, and those we know personally who have lost their income.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now we pray for our own communities at St Peter's and St Mark's. We bring before God all those who are struggling emotionally or mentally or physically. We think especially of those who are struggling to bear the weight of what they face today. May they be surrounded by your love. Especially we remember Julia and her family. John, Anne, Rick, Mick, Pat, Pam, Janie, Joe, Janet, Jonah, Patsy, Perita, Jenny, Barry, Rob, Sally, Peter, Edward, Steve and Irene. We ask that they would know the reality of your presence and we pray for their healing. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that you would comfort all who mourn the loss of a loved one be close to the thousands who are mourning across our country today and to those who mourn in our own communities, especially Russell, Hilary, Jean, Margaret, Kath and David. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And we keep a year's mind for John, Doris, Lance, Ken, Janet, Ethel, Ronald, and Olive. May your love that never fails strengthen the weak, encourage the fearful, calm the anxious, heal the sick, comfort those who mourn. Give courage to us, your church, who may feel distant, but are still present in our communities as living stones. Though we meet virtually, thank you that we are still connected. Though we are apart, prompt us to help one another and love our neighbour. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the collect for today. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we, who have this day given the thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he is the light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now we can pray together the Lord's Prayer. So as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. 
In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And a final prayer. This is called a prayer before going to sleep. God our Father, by whose mercy the world turns safely into darkness and returns again to light, we place into your hands our unfinished tasks, our unsolved problems and our unfulfilled hopes, knowing that only what you bless will prosper. To your love and protection, we commit each other and all those we love, knowing that you alone are our sure defender, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we end with the blessing. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline and gentleness and peace.